welcome you all to the debut of Field Access, presented by D1 Soccer League. I am your host, Floyd Comet, alongside Catherine Bovet. Yes. Now, today we have a very exciting show for you guys. Uh, with me today, I have uh, League Vice President, Mr. Paul George. League Manager, Mr. Jeff Paul. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. Thanks for having us. Thank you for coming in. All right. Now, I wanted to uh, ask you, uh, gentlemen, about... How did the idea of uh, bringing a uh, D1 Soccer League came about? Well, the D1 Soccer League happened because we had a, a player here who actually played back in, uh, in uh, Dorchester. And uh, he felt that he wanted to make it more competitive and to bring it to a higher level. The difference between D1 Soccer League and other local leagues around the area is the we feel like D1 Soccer League is the community. We focus on the community. It's a league ran and operated by the community. So all the players and all the fans, everybody feels like they are part of the of the, the league and they have a say. And we, we take questions from fans and what else that they have to see or the players and whatnot. And that's what sets us apart, other than the fact that we, the time that we play around 6 o'clock in the afternoon where all the parents get to bring their kids and we also very well um, involved in the community, you could say. So is it safe to say this is very family oriented? Exactly. And for this upcoming season, the 2013 season, what should the fans expect from D1 Soccer? We want to be more out there. We want to show the you know people that you know they're part of the D1 Soccer League. So feel access, which is you, which is you, you, you know, <laughs> best best, best team ever to work with. Um, I know that you guys are going to be out there showing people, you know, what's going on on the field and also what's not in the field. You know, like all access to all our players, our coaches, you know, even managers. You know, it's you knowing what's going on at all times. Aside from attending a regular soccer game uh, this year for this upcoming season, what should the average fan, the average family expect uh, at a D1 soccer league game? Well, number one, better concession, great concession, great food. Halftime, uh, beautiful shows halftime. We have uh, the one EM team will be actually uh, allowing um, great artists to actually come in and, and perform. Uh, we're going to have uh, vendors, more vendors coming into the field to actually showcase their product. Uh, we're going to have, uh, you know, T-shirt. It's going to be right there for you. Uh, the atmosphere was already great back in the days. It's going to be even better this year. Oh, and don't forget about King. King will be, will be back this time. <laughs> Everybody loves King. King is the D1 Soccer League mascot, correct? Exactly. Yes, King last year, I believe, was the debut of uh, the uh, mascot last year. And, uh, he had all kinds of fun on the field, so look out for King. So can you guys tell me what has your league done to better the community? Okay. Well, D1 Soccer League uh, this year, we, um, we've taken the initiative of being part of uh, Malden Youth Soccer and Ever Youth Soccer. What I mean by being part of it is um, we have, uh, among our staff, we, uh, I myself, I'm a coach for um, Malden Youth Soccer. We get involved with the kids more. We would like to, or we will be doing um, clinics this summertime. Um, we have plans to run some fundraising just to basically upper the level of soccer around the area. When you say youth, what are the age groups that you deal with? When I mean by youth, I'm talking about eight, from the age of uh, ages from six to eighteen. Okay, so on that note, how would a parent such as myself would go to find more information in registering my child to well, be a part of your league? If you do want to register your kid to be part of um, youth soccer around the area, what you could do is uh, you could email me. Um, from the uh, league website, uh, d1soccerleague.org, and uh, we will get back to you and give you all the information that you may need. Is there an email address as well, as far as, as opposed to just going to the website? Oh, oh, you can email me directly at plg.pmd at gmail.com. Right. Would you guys like to share more about the uh, kickoff party for the 2013 season? Go ahead. <laughs> the kickoff party. It's going to be in your face again. Uh, start off for the for the league. Um, it's going to be um, uh, on twenty fourth. May twenty fourth at the, the Castillos. Uh, we, uh, you know, uh, we're going to have pictures. We're going to have great stuff going on. What do you say? You're making it for everyone to attend. Isn't there an age well, limit? Age requirement a for Castillos? Well, there are like eighteen year olds in there. Right. Don't 
You want to know? 21 plus. 21 plus. Like, what's going on with that? Well, it's a 21 plus party for all the players and all the fans to attend. Um, what we mean by everyone is welcome. We're talking about the fans and the players of age. Great, great, great. Now, what, what type of music are we? You know, is, I mean, are we expecting some compas, some hip hop, and reggae? What, what type of music? You know, well, okay. you want to talk the league is. Um, it's a mixed league, so we'll have all types of music from around the world just to represent all the players from the Liga. That's right. Yeah. That's what we're doing. All right. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, part, kickoff party, May 24th at Castillo in Everett. We would like to thank our guests for coming in to do the interview with us today. Mr. Jeff Paul, Mr. Paul George, thank you for coming in. For Field Access, I'm Floyd Carmen, alongside Catherine Bovey. And thank you guys for tuning in. Please, don't forget. Each and every week, we're going to be bringing you some interviews live here in studio, as well as on game day, we're going to be bringing you some interviews on the field, as well as halftime interviews. Have a great day. Thank you, guys.